So hello everybody, we kind of have a pretty major problem with the MSI B450 motherboard. So as you know, I was building a computer for my friend from school, Joe, and we were building this nice little fancy gaming computer, and we ran into a lot of issues regarding the motherboard. Not in particular the motherboard as a whole, but just a certain part of it that had a lot of weird circumstances around it. Number one, the LED lights wouldn't work, and then next it wouldn't post. There was a lot of different issues, wouldn't you say? It was, it was pretty... Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> it was pretty annoying. And we're actually not even running the lights off the motherboard anymore because it doesn't even work anymore. So there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on. So let me just go over the thought process behind it, kind of what we did to eliminate what we think the problem is and how we're pretty sure there's something individually wrong with the motherboard. So I've sent Joseph home with the computer that I had there, but I want to take to this part of the video just to go through and talk about individually the specific part of the problem because obviously me boring him by sitting next talking very specifics isn't something I should really be doing and of course I'm sure he wants to go home and play with this computer so let's talk about what actually happened here so first off as I said earlier I've built a couple actually I think it's up to 15 computers over the last two years and I've used all different kinds of motherboards um, I used the B350 motherboard which had its own set of issues slight issues with the RAM overclocking which was an 1800x long story but the biggest problem with this motherboard is the fact that there is something physically wrong with the motherboard itself. Not to mention that it has caused shorts, uh, issues, etc. And I'm going to go over my thought process, how I know that it's not the back of the case, how I know it's not the case shorting something out, how I know there's a screw somewhere, how I know it's individually the motherboard. So, long story short, I went through and I was building the computer. I noticed there was a lot of problems when I was putting the lights on, that they were flickering in and out, and that was just for me moving the case. And I was like, oh, well, you know, why is the lights having such big problems? So I went through and I, you know, finished that up, we stood it, standed it up and, you know, we were messing with it, the lights started flickering off and then they just went off, so I was fiddling with the lights and then the CPU, or the computer wouldn't post anymore. It didn't post and there was a little CPU light and I'm thinking, did I, me plugging in LED lights fry the system? Because that's, I spent like a good 13, 15 minutes, uh, maybe or not 30 to 50 minutes um, trying to figure out why, what was wrong. I tried the BIOS flashback feature. I tried a lot of things. And so I thought, you know, I'll take it outside of the case. So I take it outside of the case. I put it down and everything posts. And so I'm going, hmm, there must be something wrong with the case. There must be something in the case that's causing it to short out. So then I go through and I put everything back in the case. And I only screw in a couple of screws because I figure I'll be doing it again. And um, it posts without a problem. All lights come on everything. And I'm going, must be one of the screws then. Well, something's at the screws or some contact at the screws. So I, I kind of thought it was the center, bottom, center, middle, or bottom center screw. And I, you know, screwed that in and sure enough the system, the lights didn't come on at this time. Since we've kind of established the lights and the uh, posting are kind of semi-related, I, I, I figured, you know, since the lights didn't come on, that's probably what the problem is. So I unscrew, leave the screw out, put with the system and send it home. And, you know, I get a call early this morning. Uh, yeah, the uh, lights don't work anymore. And let me be honest, when you w woken up early in the morning after spending a t solid 10 hours the day before trying to build a gaming computer because the motherboard is really a lot of problems for you. And I have been, that's if you guys are going to wonder, there's going to be some difficulty getting videos out this week because I spent all my time trying to fix this computer. And that's nothing on who I was building it for. It's just really annoying when something has this m many problems. And I'm sending, I really want to send someone home with a good working computer. So we get here, and I play, tear the whole system apart, and I think it must be the contact on the back. There must be something that the screw is, you know, when you put the screw in there, it's having contact with the um, pad on the, or the standoff on the back, and I'm going, oh, it must be that. So I take out the whole system and take out the standoff. And that's not it either. So I'm going, it's got to be the motherboard. Because something must be broken either on the, the same level, because when you take it out, and then it has the problem as well. So I, I don't know. I really don't know what I could be doing on my end to be causing this problem, but it's clearly something on the motherboard's end that if you push, uh, screw anything in, in the center part, it somehow causes something to short circuit, which by screwing in a screw, bear, bear in mind, I know how to screw my screws, guys. This is not new information. I've never had an issue from screwing in screws. And so, let me just say, it is pretty clearly a problem with the motherboard that when you put it, align it where it should be, the motherboard no longer allows the LED lights to work at all. Now keep in mind the LED header on the top 
has no problem. If you're familiar with the motherboard, it has an LED header on the top and a regular LED header on the bottom. Uh, or two different LED, two different LED headers. The one on the top was connected to the fans and it worked fine. The one on the bottom, no bueno. So here we are today, making this little video because I'll be writing a message to MSI support, attaching this email so it's a more depth explanation, and then going through and making this video so if anyone else out there has an issue. Now, I've used MSI products before. Heck, I've got some of their motherboards. Uh, I've used some of their motherboards. It just appears to be something individually wrong with this motherboard, which I've already had. I'm actually building another computer for his brother, and luckily he actually understood that the problem was not with me, but the motherboard. And so I am going to go through and get a different motherboard because this one clearly had problems for me, and he said himself that he does not want to use this brand anymore. So that's a bad experience that I uh, I tried. I honestly I there's. It feels bad, you know, when you you get something and it doesn't work how it should. And I guess that's kind of what the point is, because I do, the, in particular, for my close friends, I do free computer builds, where I'll build a computer, I'll record the process, but I do it for free. I'll, you know, of course, I'll they'll pay for the parts, but I will pay, or um, I will do the whole build process, do all the testing, troubleshooting, tech support, for free. And, you know, having something like this happen, where... You know, hey, I don't have any profit margins because I'm doing this, hey, out of YouTube, and I hate to break it through how much ad revenue I get out of videos. This video is not going to go anywhere, but I just ideally would like this to be seen by anybody else having this issue because I'd be willing to bet there's going to be other people that have similar issues, at least one other person out there that has an issue. And, you know, from my personal standpoint, I only have one motherboard. I can't say that I, you know, have a, a wide range to test. I know there's a lot of good reviews online. <clears throat> but I, are they really using the USB header down there below? It's a question, because a lot of them don't. They just test the motherboard and they're done. So that really raises the question, what is in this motherboard that makes it so different? And, you know, that next PC build will be using the ASRock um, motherboards. Uh, that's actually what I have on the system back here after I upgraded from an MSI one for a different issue. But it's kind of a lot of different things that are going on that is really making me think it's definitely the motherboard. So if you guys want to tune in, I'll be doing that, posting the whole... Actually, the stream is already posted, so you can watch the whole process. Um, actually, the, the, the freaking out about the system not posting was actually after, um, when I was fiddling with the lights, after the system was all built. I was fiddling with the lights, and that's kind of when that happened. So it's not on video, but you can kind of see the lights flickering in and out on the stream. And then, of course, I'll be doing another system build with a different whole set of motherboards, and that will be the most RGB system I've ever built. Power supply, RAM, cooler, motherboard case it's all rgb so this is going to that's going to be a completely amazing build to see but um as for this motherboard um from what i can see now uh, i cannot recommend this to anybody from my personal experiences i would not recommend this and i cannot recommend this to anybody um so i will say that i'm going to contact msi i'll take this video down if there is some type of a customer support that we get something back and there is you know maybe 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 i can get well i'm going to try to get the warranty um, obviously you're like, well, why are you need on the warranty? Well, I want to make this video because I feel like if other people are having this issue, it should be aware and known because I'm one of those few people that actually has a voice that somehow this video, as I usually do, will get enough traction that it will actually make a difference and get into the eyes of somebody working here that can make a difference. And, you know, I, I, I do this because, you know, yes, maybe an isolated instant. I understand. I've worked in the development area of computers as well. I know what I'm talking about. I know that there are sometimes issues, but I also know that there is a also a quite good chance that there is something completely wrong on a couple of these motherboards. Someone out there, someone else out there has these issues. So I'd like to make this video. I'll contact them. We get some type of response. Um, if it's just a one-off thing, I guess I don't know how to determine that, but I'll try to mitigate it. You'll check the comments down below if you want to see what the responses or any of the updates are. Uh, those will be down below. But thank you very much for watching. Share, spread the news if you'd like. Um, and of course, I'm going to be emailing them, hopefully getting a response from them as well. Now, I'm trying to do this in a very professional manner, but it really did waste a lot of my time. Um, so it's it's a little frustrating, but I understand as well that there are sometimes issues with the motherboard itself. And you know, just from this motherboard, uh, my personal recommendation is it's not. I don't feel it's something I would recommend. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, if you're from MSI, please give me an email. I have a um, email on the channel. It's jstechvault at gmail.com. Uh, email me, please. And uh, I like to hopefully rip. I'll send you the motherboard. And um, actually, I have to get it back from the system because he took it home. But I already told him if he gets a we get a response from this, 
Um, we'll, we'll bring it back, we'll put a new motherboard and we'll see how that goes from there. And then I'll make a whole different video if that turns out well. So basically, I'm just going to contact warranty support, get that out there, and to see if anyone else is having this issue. Um, but thank you very much for watching.